you've ever felt the anguish and frustration of accidentally deleting your photos or other important stuff, relax, because it turns out the word delete doesn't mean lost forever. It's a shocking feeling when through accident or carelessness you delete a bunch of pics that mean the world to you. <laughs> but the truth is, unless you do this, this or this to your phone, there's a pretty good chance those treasured pics are still there. The word delete really should be deleted from the dictionary because it's absolutely meaningless at this point. It just doesn't happen. When we press that delete button, nothing is really being deleted. We're actually just giving our gadget permission to write over the photo at some point in the future. But until that happens, it's still there. But if you're anything like me and you have no idea how to resurrect your lost data, you'll march straight back to the place where you got your device and beg for help. Which is what kept happening to Ash Cunningham in his job at a popular electronics retailer. I was constantly dealing with people coming back with their broken cameras and broken hard drive and laptops and things like that, and they'd lost all their memories and all their photos. Ash decided to take matters into his own hands and taught himself how to recover lost data and help his customers. Everything we use today has some form of hard drive, so your phones, your, your laptops, your cameras, that's where memories are made, so being able to get them back to people is a good thing. But it's worth remembering that the same techniques that can help us recover cherished photos can also be used to uncover things we'd rather were kept private. So you might think it's fun to take a few raunchy selfies and that you can easily delete them, but there's lots of ways that can come back to haunt you. But don't worry, Ash has figured out how to help there as well. I can definitely help get rid of data, like securely make sure that it cannot be recovered, otherwise you can always put an axe through the middle of it. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've got plenty of questions about this. If you're anything like Pete, those questions are extremely urgent. Uh, Mark Pesci is here to help answer some of those questions. Mark, there's something a little creepy about the idea that when we delete something, it's not really gone. Why does it have to be that way? Well, this, programmers are a little bit lazy, and basically what they make the computer do is they make the computer forget that the file is there, whether it's a photograph or a movie, but they don't actually take the file away, so you can come back in and find it. OK, now we've got a percentage of the population worried. Uh, <laughs> how, in fact, do we mere mortals, in fact, really delete this and get rid of it? So there's software that you can find for most computers that will actually take the file and erase it by putting zeros where the file was. That is the only way you can be absolutely sure that the file has been wiped out. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> take it to an expert. <laughs> OK. It is funny, Mark, when we were doing this story, because reading it, that story would make some people really stressed out to know stuff on their phone isn't gone forever and make some people so happy yeah. to know that stuff on their phone isn't gone forever. Yeah. And, I mean, it's all about what, what stuff you have on there, right? If it's important to you and it's your life photos, you're really glad that it's, you know, there. But if it's the blackmail material, maybe you're not. <laughs> Mark, which camp are you in? <laughs> you know, a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> so when we, when we come to sell our old smartphones, is it safe if it's still got, you know, our data on it? It is super hard to tell because even when you do a factory reset, the thing that supposedly wipes everything, I don't know that it's ever been proven that absolutely everything has been wiped. So really, short of breaking the phone open and grinding those chips down, I don't think we can ever be 100% sure. Well, so even if we get the axe and put it through the phone, that incriminating photo might survive in some little way. Is that right? <laughs> Again, get an angle grinder and just grind the chips oh. into dust. Well, well, don't you have a top drawer? Isn't that where it's all meant to go? No, there's a third drawer down. A third drawer down. Yeah. Mark, thank you very much for your hardware tips. Always good to talk. Thank you. Third drawer, huh? Good idea. Have you ever lost anything that you've wanted? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> is that the onesie oh, you were asking about before? Whether you can upload a onesie? I told you I can rock a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that your profile pic for that dating app? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, it's not. It's, that was I didn't my inspiration I could be, last uh, night. Uh, they told me it was going to be up for a second, and now it's been up for longer than that. <laughs> oh, come on! The thing I loved most about that was that none of us even called for it. The guys in the production room just put it up there. <laughs> They're not ladyfingers. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. Harry. <laughs>